I am Sri Rag, a 9th standard student of this school. First of all, let us have a gander at the international news. Scott's major winners court scrap 1.2 million EU antitrust fine. England lifts restrictions as Omicron threat recedes. Most coronavirus restrictions, including mandatory face masks, were lifted in England on Thursday. Now let us move on to the national news. PM Modi vows to deepen Indo-French ties. Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Thursday, January 27, 2022, thanked French President Emmanuel Macron for his Republic Day greetings. SSC to pronounce judgment on issue of grant of reservation in promotion to SSCs and STs. Supreme Court is scheduled to pronounce on Friday its judgment on the issue of the grant of reservation in promotion to the scheduled castes and scheduled tribes in government jobs. Now let us switch over to the state news. Idiki, Patanadita, Kotem and Kollam under clampdown. Four more districts in Kerala have clamped down on gathering and the range of recreational activities to slow down the accelerated spread of suspected Omicron variant driven COVID-19 surge. SSLC, HSC, practical exams postponed. Practical examinations for SSLC, high secondary and vocational high secondary students has been rescheduled and will now be held after the year-end theory examinations. Now over to the school news. Today also, we are here to the remaining pieces of work of our children from first standard to plus two. Today also, we can see some drawing, painting and some of the students are disguised as freedom fighter, etc. can be seen. It is a very fabulous sight. We feel extremely happy about yesterday's parents' response and happiness by watching the performance of all our students. That's why today also we are forced to present the rest of remaining visuals to all of you. Let's watch it. radio waves across the universe, astronomers happened upon a celestial object realizing giant bursts of energy and it's unlike anything they have ever seen before. The spinning space object spotted in March 2018 beamed out radiation three times per hour. In those moments, it became the brightest source of radio waves viewable from Earth, acting like a celestial lighthouse. 
Astronomers think it might be a remnant of collapsed star, either a dense neutron star or a dead white dwarf star with a strong magnetic field or it could be something else entirely. A study on the discovery published Wednesday in journal Nature. This object was appearing and disappearing over a few hours during our observations, said lead study author Natasha Hurley Walker, an astrophysicist at the Curtin University North of the International Center for Radio Astronomy Research in a statement. completely unexpected. It was kind of spooky for an astronomer because there is nothing on the sky that does that and it's really quite close to us, about 4000 light years away. It's in our galactic backyard. Curtin University doctoral student Tyron O'Doherty made the unusual discovery while using the Murchison Whitefield Array Telescope in the outback of Western Australia. It's exciting that the source I identified last year has turned out to be such a peculiar object, O'Doherty said in a statement. The MWA's wide field of view and extreme sensitivity are perfect for surviving the entire sky and detecting the unexpected. When studying transients, you are watching the death of a massive star or the activity of the remnants it leaves behind, said study co-author Gemma Anderson, ICRAR, Curtin astrophysicist, in a statement. Slow transients like supernovae might appear over the course of a few days and disappear after a few months. Fast transients like a type of neutron star called a pulsar flash on and off within milliseconds or seconds. This new incredibly bright object, however, only turned on for about a minute every 18 minutes. The researchers said their observations might match up with the definition of an ultra-long period magnetar. Magnetars usually flare by the second, but this object takes longer. It's a type of slowly spinning neutron star that has been predicted to exit theoretically, Hurley Walker said. But nobody expected to directly detect one like this because we didn't expect them to be so bright. Somehow, it's converting magnetic energy to radio waves much more effectively than anything we have seen before. The researchers will continue to monitor the object to see whether it turns back on and in the meantime they are searching for evidence of other similar objects. Lala Lajpat Rai Lala Lajpat Rai was born on 28 January 1865. He was an Indian author, revolutionary and politician. He played a pivotal role in the Indian independence movement. He was popularly known as Punjab Kesari. He was one of the three members of Lal, Bal, Pal. In 1928, the United Kingdom set up the Simon Commission headed by Sir John Simon to report on the political situation in India. The commission was boycotted by Indian political parties because it did not include any Indian members and it was met with a countrywide protest. Namaste. I am Avshami Yes. I am third standard student of this school. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb. Its place was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, Mary went, Mary went, and everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. Namaste. Namaste. I am Miss Maya Vidi, studying Udaya class, Sri Sarasadi Vidyana CDC Muta Balak. I am telling English alphabet A, B, 